morning. So, I think I've talked about morning sketches with Rachel on here before, but a little recap. It's basically just a daily sketching challenge that I do for about a week, sometimes a little bit more, sometimes a little bit less. And I like to get inspiration um, and ideas from people on Instagram, scenarios or objects or kind of whatever they want. And I compile a whole list and figure out what I'm gonna be drawing for the day. Sometimes I have the whole week planned out, sometimes I just have a few days. This time I have uh, the first three days planned out and then the last two days, I'm not really sure yet what I'm gonna do, but people are still sending in suggestions, so um, I'm going to look through that and see if anything kind of sparks some interest. Also uh, special this time is I'm doing van edition morning sketches with Rachel. So basically I'm just finding a place to park and kind of using my van as my studio which has always been somewhat of my goal as well to have this like a moving studio kind of situation i also am heading to kingston uh tomorrow night because my fridge has finally arrived to fill in that gap back there which i don't know if you can see on this clip so i'm gonna go pick that up and my plan is to actually go the night before um park in this parking lot that I found on iOverlander that seems to have really good reviews on like a free overnight parking spot. So this is also going to be my first time sort of stealth camping or parking lot camping. Um, and I'm a little nervous about that, but I have that parking lot as an option and then my backup is Walmart, which sounds like there also is a lot of people who usually park there. So it depends on where the most RVs or vans are parked. I think I'd feel more comfortable with a few more people parked somewhere. Um, I know that there are people who don't even think twice about this anymore, but since this is my first time doing it, I am a little bit nervous about it. This video is basically going to be my morning sketches with Rachel experience vlog, plus some van content. Come along for the journey that is this vlog, and we'll see what happens. All right, so I'm all parked up in the spot. If you're at all familiar with the Peterborough Kawartha area, this is on River Road from Peterborough to Lakefield. Along the whole road, there's these little kind of pull off. They have all these picnic areas. Um, it's also along the Trent Severn waterway, so you can watch boats coming up and down the river. And it's just kind of a nice uh, spot to hang out. Oh, and I also wanted to say, um, to start off morning sketches with Rachel, I am actually wearing shorts that I made with the um, excess material from my cushions. So I'm really just like leaning into my van build vibes kind of thing. So yeah, let's start creating. I've been hanging on counting days thinking it was me all along. Had a million conversations in my head about where it went wrong And I've got no idea where you've been, who you are, not anymore All I got is this Polaroid picture of us from June 24th It's where I kissed you for the first time, laid on your sheets You gave me your heart and said you trusted with me But all I did was let you down time and time again it wasn't my intention Maybe we should have been friends So You're someone I used to know But nobody said it'd be easy But maybe I should have known One more drink to swallow it down I gotta get you out of my mind But nobody said it was easy Maybe I should have known I've been out till late 
bring more of my like uh, studio art supplies as opposed to my travel sketching supplies so I'm going to bring uh, my regular paint brushes and a few more color selection um, and I think that that will help quite a bit um, it's also just about getting comfortable in this setting you know when I'm in my studio focus whereas uh, here in my van there's going to be distractions. That being said it's just a little bit of a learning curve and I have to anticipate those things. I wonder how the wind is sounding. Maybe not great. Um, so yeah now that I know and I did start off with like a smaller less elaborate sketch than I am kind of planning to do later in the week. So I'm almost done here today. Um, just gonna finish it up and then we'll head out. So yeah. of morning sketches with Rachel and today we're headed to Bridge North. I drove past a little parking spot area the other day 
and it looked like maybe it could be a, a nice place to sit. I do need to make a stop because I'm making a little bit of an improvement to my studio setup in my van here. So a quick stop um, and then we'll get to that spot. I figured out for this drawer a piece of a piece of plywood that just sits right in there um, so I have a lot more counter space and I don't have to be like hunched over so far it's not like it doesn't give me any knee room which is what I really would like but um, this drawer is too low for me to have some knee room with it but at least it gives me more space should be a bit more comfortable and it's nice that it actually closes with that on it so I don't have to store it anywhere else either. I don't know how long we're gonna stay in this spot. It is a nice view. Like it's beautiful, there's a little pond. You can see Shimong Lake in the background and then there's cows and stuff but, um, oh it's so beautiful. Geese are are landing in the pond oh gosh it's so nice but this road which is 60 people aren't going 60 on it they're going pretty fast so I might just stay here for a little bit and then head to the next spot because it just feels really yeah exposed I think but it is beautiful look you can see got through any of my sketch and I'm already deciding that we need to move it's just not comfortable and a big like combine or um, like farming equipment truck drove by and like you know they drive right on the shoulder to try and make it easier for people to pass and for themselves to fit and it was just like, not enjoyable yeah we're we're just gonna move I just ordered uh, lunch from the restaurant that's just across the street from where I'm sitting right now and then I'm actually gonna switch spots because this is um, it's just too distracting I think I didn't realize um, how distracting it was gonna be to like work try and do like like actual studio work and not just like fun travel stuff I'm gonna go pick up my food my lunch and then head to this other spot which looks nice and looks quieter.
So my plan was go was to go to Kingston tonight, but Kiwi's like not seeming to feel very well. And I'm not sure if she ate something. What I'm kind of leaning towards now, my like revised plan, is to see if my mom can look after her for the morning tomorrow and just to drive pick up my fridge and drive back and maybe like um stop a couple places on the way there or on the way back or something that way like i don't have to worry about um finding places for kiwi to go to the bathroom you know it's a two hour and 15 minute drive um to get there and if we're in the middle of a two hour drive and she's like desperately having to go to the bathroom, then that's not fair for her. I'll let you know what I decide. Let me see. The autofocus on this still has a little bit of an issue. I made the decision I'm not going to be going tonight to Kingston to stay over because Kiwi's just, she's just not feeling good. That is where I'm going to leave it for today and I'll pick back up with you tomorrow on my way to Kingston or at some point. It is actually two days later from the last clip. Um, I decided, uh, well, through the night, Kiwi was still feeling uncomfortable. Um, I didn't want to leave her at my parents' house um, when she was in, I don't know, it's not fair to anyone in that situation. So I decided to take a day and I am driving to Kingston today. I am leaving Kiwi with my mom um, while I'm gone just because I want her to feel fully better and uh, while I'll miss her while I am driving there and there in Kingston, um, I just think that it's going to be best for her to have another day to kind of recuperate a little bit. She's doing much, much, much better. She's like pretty much 100% back to, back to her normal self. Um, it was just like a kind of upset stomach. There she is. I think that I'm going to stop fairly soon along the way if there's like a rest stop or something that looks good um, to uh, get my first little bit of my morning sketches done and then I kind of just stop every, I don't know, hour, whatever. I mean, it only takes two hours to get there, but stop every so often to kind of do a little bit more. I'm really excited about this sketch. I think it's the sketch that I'm most excited about. I'm excited to get my fridge because that means that I can install it, which means that I can have a fridge in my van, which means that when I'm camping in two weeks, I think I'm camping in two weeks, uh, I won't have to bring a cooler. I won't have to worry about ice. And also fingers crossed that this fridge works because last time I was really excited about a fridge, didn't end up working so let's get this show on the road I have to drop Kiwi off at my parents house hi baby I should take her for a walk first okay take Kiwi for a walk have breakfast drop her off at my parents house drive to Kingston pick up my fridge do some illustrations take a nap drive home <laughs> wanna go for a walk Kiwi all right I am headed off just about to drop Kiwi off. Take a train. My first little mini stop is Hastings, Ontario, on the way to Kingston. I always forget to put sunscreen on. And when you're driving, you really do need sunscreen. 
the amount of times that I've gotten burned uh, just from the sun coming through the front windshield. I'm in Hastings right now, and then I'm headed to Kingston. I'm just kind of stopping along the way. It's not leaking anywhere else. I, I am. I assume that if it was one of the other places, that it would be leaking elsewhere too, right? Now I'm gonna do some uh, masking fluid. <laughs> in Kingston and it's actually raining right now which uh, it's not raining like super hard so I've, I'm gonna attempt to have at least one of the doors open um, because the I, I kind of really need natural light in order to sketch and there's just not a lot of windows in my van I'm gonna hang out here for a little bit do a little bit of artwork and then continue on As long as these birds don't attack me. They're actually all really cute. Never mind. That seagull looks a little suspicious, but they're all pretty cute. for parking in this spot. If you can even hear me, I don't know, but let's head to the next location. So we're at the next place. 
this and actually this one needs uh, pay parking as well but it looks like a really interesting place the other one I felt like I could just you know do a quick walk around kind of see it and then carry on whereas this one uh, looks like I need to investigate a little bit more and it was a place um, that was suggested to me on Instagram to get like lunch or something uh, so I'm going to pay for parking and go and check this place out. looks incredible I decided to put it on a plate so it would be a little bit more enjoyable to eat garden won't stop giving back honeysuckle fresh cut grass I could really use some stuff like over it the rest of the day here as I'm uh, stopping at a couple more spots but this inconvenience is the reason that uh, I came so it's okay but yeah so fridge so exciting Something I could use A cure for the air condition Could you some too? I'm gonna head back now. Um I think I will probably leave it here until tomorrow yeah so I'll see you tomorrow for day four day four of morning sketches with Rachel and Kiwi is back in the passenger seat today um, she's feeling I'm like pretty much 100% I think. But today uh, I just need to drop an order off at a local shop who is just starting to wholesale with me which is great. But we're going to drop this off. I also have to pick up some medication for Kiwi um, not related to her you know being sick the other day. It's just her like flea and tick stuff. And then we're gonna find a spot around Little Lake to hang out. I 
found exactly the spot that I was thinking of. Um, it is in a residential area, so we'll see. I mean, these are like public parking lots and there's hardly anyone else parked at them. So the fact that I'm like parked horizontal when I should be like parked, you know, vertically into the spot, if that makes sense, um, shouldn't be an issue because there's like no one else at these spots. But if someone uh, does, you know, ask me to move or change how I'm parked, then I guess that happens, but we'll see. We'll see how long I can last like this. Um, so far, Kiwi is whining. Kiwi, why are you whining? Why are you whining, Kiwi? Huh? I also grabbed a few treats. Oh, I shouldn't say that word. A few delectable things for me to eat at the Hard Winter Bread Co. Kiwi, these aren't for you. Sorry, baby. take a second look at this one a little bit later once I've had a moment to like you know stop looking at it and then look at it again with fresh eyes I'm also going to work on yesterday's illustration which I still haven't finished and then we'll head to tomorrow's illustration inventive on how to start these videos but starting again in my van I guess it is day five and it is the final day of morning sketches with Rachel my goal is Lakefield we'll see if that's achievable Kiwi's also back again <laughs> I'm all parked up. We're in Lakefield just off of the river. This is a warning from the past To make sure you're learning from mistakes that you did last me a letter when you're done evaluating what your short life has become and you should know and you should know don't try to cover up your way So far there are better ways Throw preconceptions down the drain Cause this 
up some food that I ordered from a place called Lock and Anchor Pete uh, Lock and Anchor Bakery and Eatery or something like this. So I'm gonna go pick that up and then I might stop somewhere else to eat it or I might just go home. to park up in one more spot before the end of the day so that I can finish my pizza and finish this illustration that I did. Might be a little annoying with the bridge there, but we're not gonna be here for too, too long. Thanks again for joining me and that bridge is so loud. Thanks again for joining me and I will see you in my next video. Bye. You should know.